What's going on guys? It's time to review a really damn good pay-per-view One Night Stand 2006. Let's get started here. Aw, uh, Taz. It was fucking awesome. Taz defeated Jerry Lawler in like 10 seconds. So what happened? Jerry Lawler always hated DCW. So, and the fans always hated Jerry Lawler in ECW. So Jerry Lawler came out and slapped Joey Styles silly. <laughs> Then the match started, and then you had Joey Styles come in from behind the King and put him like in a sleeper hold. King was carrying him on his back, and then he threw him off. And then Jerry the Lawler set uh, Joey Styles up for a pile driver. Then Taz got him into the Kanta Hajime, the Taz mission, and got the win in like 10 seconds. NA, but awesome. I mean, this could have been my favorite NA of all time. With the exception of uh, Butterbean vs. Bard Gun. That was fucking <laughs> insane, that NA, but this was really good. Awesome start. Kurt Angle defeats Randall Keith Orton. Uh, apparently, Kurt Angle is going to ECW. And I think he left the company right after this, though. So, that never really was to be. Oh, I forgot to tell you. The One Night Stand 2005, the Raw after that, I went to with my dad and my brother. Because uh, this was in the Hammerstein Ballroom, to the One Night Stand 2005 pay-per-view. And it was like right next to Binghamton. It was only a couple hours away from Binghamton, New York. And that's only like 20 minutes away from my house, Binghamton. So we went to that Raw. It was a pretty shitty Raw, though. <laughs> a lot of fireworks and just I was like five and it really this fireworks scared the shit out of me uh yeah so Kurt Angle off the win a really good damn good opening match I mean second match four stars FBI defeated Tajiri and super crazy uh this was another awesome match not awesome good match keep stuttering here uh, I'm a little excited um yeah, this is really good. Um, a lot of good fast-paced action here. And who picked up the win here? I think it was Lil Guido. It's three and a half stars. Um, Rey Mysterio versus Sabu for the World Heavyweight Championship ended in no finish. This could have been fucking awesome, though. Like this match, like this is a dream match for tons of people. Sorry, I gotta take a shit. That's why I keep moving around. But this was a dream match for many people, and they only gave it like ten minutes. It ended because um Sabu did this crazy move and then fucking off the ropes and then uh. Tornado, like, did a DDT to Rey Mysterio on the table that was set up on the barricade in the ring apron. But this is ECW. You don't fucking stop matches unless they're really injured. And I don't think they were. Four stars. So, no finish. Nick Foley and Edge defeated Tommy Dream and Terry Funk. This was fucking extreme as hell. I mean, this was just awesome. A lot of blood. I mean, Terry Funk... He got the shit beat out of him. He got like his fucking eye was all like busted open and shit. It was gross. Gross and awesome at the same time. And Edge <laughs> won with this awesome cover. He <laughs> he folded up uh what's her name? McGillicuddy what's her name? Madu what's her what the fuck? Abdu I don't know, the McGillicuddy girl, sorry, I gotta take a shit. And uh and then he like rolled her up in a schoolboy, but then he put like his dick on her ass. <laughs> then when the referee counted each number, he was like humping her ass. <laughs> And the referees are, I mean, the announcers are like, this is disturbing. <laughs> it was so funny. Four and a half stars. Balls Mahoney defeated Masato fucking Tanaka. Why did Balls Mahoney win here? 
whatever. Masato Tanaka was the main eventer in ECW. Uh, two and three quarters. Still fine. Probably the worst match of the night. Uh, RVD defeated John Cena for the WWE title. John Cena dominated the whole time, which pissed me off. But RVD got the win here. It was fucking awesome to see him win the ECW belt for the first time. And slash WWE title. He cashed in his money in the bank. That was the whole history on that. Four stars. Favorite gets an 8.5 out of 10. See you guys later. Peace out.